What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. Again, be 5679 here. I'm getting a um, live stream ready right now, but let me get to I'm going to put this article out there real quick. Um, we got in Mexico 19 bodies found hanging from bridges, abandoned on roads. Discovery of bodies in three different sites appears to be part of a turf war between rival drug, drug gangs, prosecutor says. And this is why, my friends, Mexicans want to come to America because this is how it is down there and it's really like this like These gangs are real deal holy filled and they're about that that bullshit for real Authorities in the Mexican city of Europan have found the bodies of 19 people in three different locations including some that were hanging from bridges Speaking to reporters on Thursday, the chief prosecutor for the western state of Michoacan, where Yurapan is located, said the incident appeared to be linked to rival drug gangs operating in the area. There is a turf war between the local cells of different criminal groups. They are fighting for territorial control over the production, distribution, and consumption of drugs, Adrian Lopez said. That leads to this type of incident. Which alarms the population, and rightfully so, he added. Images carried by local media showed several bodies hanging from an overpass in Europan alongside a threatening message printed on a large sheet of plastic, an intimidation tactic frequently seen in cartel turf wars. Other bodies were found cut up and abandoned along the road. This kind of public theatrical violence, where you don't just kill but you brag about killing, is meant to intimidate rivals and send a message to the authorities. Alejandro Hope, a security analyst, told the Associated Press News Agency, this kind of cynical impunity has been increasing in Michoacan, Hope said. Violence escalating. The state is at a flashpoint in the violent organized crime wars that have swept Mexico in recent years. Mitchell Can is where the government first deployed the army to fight criminal gangs in 2006. A strategy that critics say has only led to the escalation in the violence. Mexico has registered more than 250,000 murders since then, including a new record of 33,755 last year. Notice that 33, right? Leftist President Andre Manuel Lopez Obrador who took office in December, has promised to, to curb the violence using a strategy based around a newly launched National Guard, which is taking over the job of fighting drug cartels from the military and federal police. However, his government has thus far failed to reduce homicides, which are on track to hit a new record with 14,603 murders reported from January to June of 2019. Holy shit! Then there are 15,000 killed since January to June, bro. God, whoa, that's that's a lot of people, my man. Do, do you guys understand why they risk walking from Mexico to Texas to get in the United States? Do you, do you guys get how, why they risk dying to get to the United States on a walk? And guess what else? Do you realize that they rather be in jail in the uh, United States? Than live down there. They'd rather be in prison up here, man. That's how bad it is down there. And it's that bad. And to all the, um, excuse my French guys, excuse me for being like this and stooping down to this low level, knowing that I am a Christian, but as I always say, I'm not perfect and I sin. So I'm going to put it blatantly how it is. To the retards who said I put up fake news about India. <laughs> Look, you retard, it's all over national news. Now Now the mainstream pushing I pushed it before. I was talking about it before the mainstream said anything about it. You slow juice. <laughs> what a goofball. <laughs> well, people were so... Re oh, man. UN concern over Kashmir lockdowns. Hundreds reported arrested. Now, guys, I'm going to go over this too because listen real quick. Okay. India is going down. Okay, we went over it a couple of days ago. It's getting a little worse. The United Nations chief has expressed concern over restrictions in Indian administered Kashmir as the Muslim majority territory remained under an unprecedented security lockdown and air total communications blackout for a fourth day. No phones, no internet, streets barbed wired, lockdown, military blocking roads. 
that's how they're living in India right now. Okay? And, uh, yeah, it's for real. The UN Secretary General also appealed for maximum restraint and urged India and Pakistan to refrain from taking steps that could affect the region's status. Kashmir is claimed in full by both India and Pakistan, although each controls only a part of it. Okay, I'm going to skip a little bit more, but bam. Indian administered Kashmir has been cut off from the outside world. Mobile phones, internet, and landlines are all down in the Kashmir Valley, where soldiers are enforcing a curfew. For people here, life has suddenly become tougher. As you can see, the shops are all shut here and we're having a hard time getting food. And as there is no transportation, we're facing a difficult time here. I had to take a patient to the hospital, but they aren't allowing us to travel. They've put a heavy restriction here, created a militarized zone, and forcefully imposed a black law onto us. The Indian government has revoked the region's autonomy, but the situation is not the same everywhere. This is Jammu, the Hindu-majority part of Indian-administered Kashmir. Like the demographics, the views here are different than the rest of the region. Life in this part remains fairly normal, with exceptions. Here in Jammu, public assembly has been restricted and mobile internet has been disabled along with some phone connections. While these are not nearly as severe as a total shutdown in the neighboring Kashmir Valley, the difference here is that by and large most people support the government's new measures for Indian-administered Kashmir. These Kashmiri Hindus used to live in the Muslim-majority Kashmir Valley but fled religious violence 30 years ago. Some are living in cramped homes and can only dream of the ones they left behind. If the government call for us, we'll see what the condition is. If they call me today, I'll be ready now. The head of this now permanent migrant camp still visits family and friends in the Kashmir Valley. He'd also like to go back, but says that's difficult. One place settlement. We ask the government for one place for us to settle. So from there, we'll have self-security and check on our old properties. But if they tell us to just go back to our old places, this won't happen. Tension is high here. Many people say they'll wait and see what develops. And pray life will get better. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, Jammu District, Indian Administered Kashmir. So as you see, uh Real deal, just like I said, I don't, I don't put out nothing fake. So, um, last thing I'll say about it is anyone who's seen that dude in the comments screaming that he has friends in India and they all said that I was lying, none of this was true. Well, now you know that dude's a straight clown, and and he and he claims that uh, Freemasons are here to save the world. So, yeah, dude, stay off my page because you're a clown. <laughs> you're a clown. And uh, you're a demon worshiper, and you're not not ever gonna be welcome over here. So you can stay away. Um, one more thing I want to point out, guys. Oh yeah, did you see this? They're saying now they're saying that. Remember when Trump pulled all the, he wanted to pull troops out of Syria, claiming we had ISIS beat. Well, ISIS been over there going crazy, right? So now they're blaming it on Trump. That ISIS uh, is still in Syria, and yeah, I mean, I'm really not going over it because I'm not big in ISIS. I kind of think ISIS is fair porn. People might think I'm crazy, but I kind of think ISIS was, let's just say, homemade. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm not biting on that. No wasting time. But yeah, they're blaming on Trump now. And ISIS is back over there. Da, 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 this down the third. But one thing to point out real quick, right in this video and get this live stream ready, is that, like I said, the other last live stream. Okay. 800 people were arrested in Moscow protests. India's on lockdown, no internet, this, that, and the third, okay? Also, the yellow vest, okay? Mass shooting, stabbings every day in the United States. And then, um, and then right below us in Mexico, 19 bodies hanging. All around the world is chaotic, okay? But you know what? It's okay, guys. Don't matter. You're still breathing, I'm still breathing. You're watching this video, I'm making this video. Which means we're here, we have life, we're alive. God bless the ones we lost. Life goes on. You know what I mean? And, and may God rest their souls. May they find peace, and may they go to heaven. But look, we're going to start focusing on positive things. There's too much negative shit going on in the world. And they ain't going to have me all in my negative state of minds. You know what I mean? 
bring that shit on. It's whatever. When you do, you do. When it happens, it happens. Okay? And yeah, I'm not like prepped up and stuff. But other than that, spiritually, I'm ready. So, you know what I mean? Everybody stay safe. Stay humble. Stay positive. Okay? We'll get in live stream tonight. Got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, real quick, since we're right here, let me see if I can pull this up. FEMA. Uh, what, what, how can I say this? FEMA to shut down internet FEMA to shut down internet send out alert let me see if I can pull it up like this the new one they're doing this this is new guys this is new okay this is it let's read this one right here Okay, and as you can see, FEMA. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's this will on. be a nationwide thing. CC will listen. Die. Listen. Check this shit out, guys. I don't know if you heard about this yet. This is actually my news. This is local Pittsburgh news right here. All right, listen. And the FCC will test the emergency alert system. This will be a nationwide thing at 2:20 this afternoon on all radio and all TV stations. Now, this year's test will look at the readiness of the national alerting capability in the absence of an internet connection. The test will only take about a minute. Okay, guys, did you hear that? We're talking about this more tonight, okay? Because remember the date. Okay, date. What's today's date? What is it? A coalition 11. of Walmart yeah, employees days, is calling for a nationwide walkout after Saturday's mass shooting at a store in El Paso, Texas. That means three days into the 11th, we're going to go over to 8 11 tonight, guys. Um, something seems to be kind of all this stuff coming together. We'll talk about that tonight, but real quick a nationwide emergency alert test will be sent out Wednesday. August 7th by FEMA and the FCC. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, it is scheduled to run at 2 p.m. I didn't get anything yet. Was this supposed to happen today then? Yesterday. I didn't get nothing, guys. Did you? Hmm. According to the Federal Emergency... Okay. The test can be heard on the radio, cable TV, satellite TV, and radio, as well as wireline video providers, but it will not include cell phone messages. The reason for this test is to check alert capability in the scenario of internet connectivity loss. Whew. It should only be the last of a minute. The audio message and text crawl will be accessible for anyone. Okay, guys, I gotta figure out how to end this real quick. Uh, this is AGMB5679. Checking out. Uh, did I record? Did I record this? Did this record, guys? Oh, God. How do I, how do I end it? This ain't good, is it? <laughs> oh no, how do I end this? Am I recording right? Yeah, okay, okay, I see it now. Alright, I see it. I see where I end it. Okay. What's this one here? Yeah, I gotta keep that up. We're gonna go over this. Not tonight, though. Russia flowing nuclear power plant. You guys remember when I when the submarine some when the submarine of fourteen sailors died, right? And remember I put that link my old video together with Putin going under water with that little Remember I was saying about this dude, just look at this word right here. That word. Remember I was saying that and how that could start earthquakes and look what ended up popping up. This is new. Okay, twenty two hours ago. Okay. Exactly what I said kind of links to this look look see the signal things you know what do you think that means what do you think that means you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying we'll talk about that tonight alright guys I love you much love again be fast except for now check